Email Studio includes Mail Merge to help you send personalized emails to your Google contacts without having to use CC or BCC. In this video, I'll show you how easy it is to perform Mail Merge with Email Studio. Now before that, if you haven't done so already, please go to emailstudio.pro and install the Gmail add-on. Now I'll go to the Gmail website and here I'll compose a new draft message. So let's assume that our company is launching a new product and we are looking to invite journalists for the launch. So here's an invitation email. The text is ready, I can format this text, I can also include images and even file attachments in my draft. Now we can make this draft slightly more personalized by adding the name of the recipients in the subject and the body. Email Studio will actually pull this data from your Google contacts. So the draft is ready and I'll switch to the inbox but you can see that the email studio add-on isn't visible here. And that's because these add-ons only show up when you are inside an email message. So I'll open some email message in my inbox and there you have email studio add-on in the right sidebar. So I'll click on it to open email studio and then choose mail merge from the list of available modules. Inside the mail merge configuration, the first thing you need to do is select the gmail draft that should be used as the template. Now if you don't see your draft in the drop down, just select this refresh button and automatically the list will be updated. Next you need to specify the email address through which these emails should go out. Now I just have one email in this list but if you have multiple aliases connected to your gmail account, all of them will show here so you can send emails on behalf of any of those email addresses. Next I'll specify the sender's name, the reply to address where the email should arrive when somebody hits the reply button. Then you have the to field, here I can type a list of email addresses, one or more email addresses separated by comma. However, for this demo I won't be using the to field because I would be pulling my recipients directly from Google contacts in the next uh, step. You can also specify the CC or BCC address and they will all receive a copy of the sent emails. Ok, finally I expand the Google contact section and here you can see all the Google contacts that I have are available in this list. So I can simply uh, check the boxes next to their names and all of them would be added to the recipients list. So we are almost done now, I'll hit the run button to send out the mails. So mail merge is now complete and if I go to the gmail sent items you can find a copy of all the emails that have been sent through mail merge. Now you can open any email and you'll see that the variable names like the full name and the first name have been replaced with the actual values from google contacts. Uh, one more thing, we have used mail merge inside the gmail website. But if you have the Gmail app on your mobile phone, you can use uh, Merge there as well. So in this demo, I have uh, my Android phone and I will pull the Gmail app. Next, I'll open any message and if I scroll down, you can see the list of available add-ons. So I'll tap on the Email Studio add-on and then Mail Merge. And then you're presented with the same set of options that were available inside the Gmail website. So this is how easy it is to perform mail merge right inside your Gmail app. And one more thing, this is the simple version of Gmail. If you're looking to add more features like tracking email opens or for adding more personalized fields to your emails, you should check out mail merge with attachments.